guys welcome back to my channel this is madam your girl with another inspirational video and another reunion show <laughs> guys today's episode it was really really hot it was hot it was all about confrontation and then ella couldn't have it that was just caught red-handed lying so please let me know on the comment section but before anything I want to say that you guys will subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. I love all my subscribers. I love especially my new subscribers, my beautiful subscribers who always go and come back just because of me, just because of this humble and then mm -hmm, lady. Okay, guys, let me just go straight to the point. Today's video is all about confrontation and today is episode five of the big brother niger reunion and then it was really hot it was all about betrayal it was all about loyal it was all about pretender so if you know you are a pretender or you know you are a <laughs> you know that you are a pretender or you know you are a betrayal please let me know in the comment section i know nobody will say that i'm a pretender nobody will say that i'm a betrayal nobody will say that i'm not loyal but please if you are honest to yourself let me know on the comment section Okay, guys, let's move on to today's episode. Today's episode was really superb. I really enjoyed watching it. Guys, in today's episode, if in case I forgot to say anything about the episode, you guys will pardon me because today's episode was too much. So I'm going to pick randomly and talk about the moment. Venita started the whole problem today. Venita was trying to shake <laughs> Ella. Venita was trying to make people understand that Ella lied against her mother being sick. Ella said that her mother was sick. And then she was on operation and then Ella did not really come to the group chat them their big brother Niger group chat for her to say that see what is happening my mom is sick and then I really need some money because I'm out of cash or I don't have any resources to take care of my mom and so you guys can render service or help Ella did not do that instead Ella went to the public to publish that her mother is ill and that she needed help I even watched that video I also watched the video Ella was saying that she wants to stop music. She don't want to continue again. And a lot of people were there donating her money. And then when Ebuka asked her, it is true that your mom was sick. Ella said that her mom was sick. But she switched off because of what? Because that critical moment her mom was, she went on social media to say that she needed help because she don't have anything. Her brother was telling her that what you did was not really right. You can't just go out there to expose our mom on the social media. And this was done on Instagram. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to Ella's Instagram. If she did not delete this clip or she did not delete um, the caption, go there and see it as evident. So everybody was talking about Ella. Kim Oprah was also trying to against Ella by telling lies against her mom. Because Kim Oprah said that they called Ella and told Ella that we want to come and see your mom in the hospital. And Ella was telling them that don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. My auntie is here, everybody is fine. My mom did not need people to know that she is sick. Guys, what do you understand by this? To my own observation, I saw Ella at a certain point that she couldn't defend herself anymore. She couldn't even talk. She even cried and went out. And that reminds me when they were trying to confront Alex, Sissy, and then um, Nina. You know, Alex left the room. And then that was exactly what Ella did today. Ella left the room by crying and then Ella came back again. Was it a crocodile tears? Or Ella was pretending? Or Ella was trying to look for pity? Or Ella was trying to say the truth? Or Ella was not defensive? Or Ella was a coward? Please let me know in the comment section. To my own understanding, I think Ella did not do right. She should have informed them if they don't really help or they, not, or they, or they were not forthcoming. She could have gone out there to talk about other people and people who helped them. Everybody I was not really even happy about it and then Joe said that he created the whatsapp group so that they can reconcile so that they can know about one another what is happening in their life but it was not just there because they just want to come there to form a group and then what happened to Ella can happen to anybody and Ella is a strong woman so Ella should keep strong whatever she's going through she just have to be strong and I think that in my own observation again Ella said tears because of what because she was so emotional that everybody was talking on her Kim Oprah was there, Venita was there, and then who else was there? Messi was also there, and then um, this other guy, um, Sadiq, was also trying to talk. Jackie was there. So it was really confusing. She couldn't even know what to say next because to her own look, I think she was lying. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comment section of what you think. From, because the way she was trying to blaspheme or the way she was trying to baffle people, it was not really straightforward. Your mom is sick, right? Your mom is sick, fine. You went online to tell people that your mom is sick. The next day, you switch on to what to show us your 
first musical band around the beach. And then Venita was saying that you were there saying, ah, and your mom is sick. And they were calling Ella to ask Ella, where is your location? Want to come and visit your mom? Ella was not giving them any response. And Kimopra said that she was even the one who thought of asking that question. Nobody thought of it. And then um, Sedik said that, yes, I was even surprised when Kimopra asked her, but I later knew that uh, it was very genuine because we need to go and see her or at least gather some money and give her. And do you know what happened? They gathered some money and gave Ella. And then Ella also got some donation outside there. And the next day, Ella was from ella was doing something else what do you guys think was ella's mother sick or ella was just trying to pretend or ella was not really loyal to big brother niger pepe them gang housemates or ella was just trying to um, bring them down or trying to set them out there people say that they are wicked they did not help their fellow housemate or what do you guys think about all this today matter is was still ella again let's go to ella's problem again ella was liking mm, ike everybody was saying that what did people see in ike what did people see in ike what did girls see in ike ike is a handsome guy ike is a handsome dude ike uh-huh <laughs> why would they like ike Ike is a very caring man. Ike is so jovial. If you are with Ike, you are with everything. Yes, because Ike is a moment. Ike's smile, Ike's behavior, Ike's reaction is something else. What do you think left messy with Ike? Because of the way Ike is caring. Ike has done a lot in the house. We know that we, Ike is caring. We know that Ike is likable. Ike is lovely. So why won't Ella fall for him? And then Ella even told him that I really like you. I really love you. I really do this. I really do that. Uh -huh. But what? Ella lost. Because Messi won. Because Ella did not really fall in love with Ike after the, after that conversation. Ike went to follow Messi because the love was stronger there. And then what he was looking for was in Messi. Ella is a beautiful damsel, a black, a bony lady. I don't know what you are rushing for. Just take your time. Life is like this. If I tell you what I have gone through in my life, you will never come out there and be crying. If somebody else tell you what he or she went through in his or her life, you will never come out there to expose yourself. And there was also something that Messi said to, to Ella. I, it was a confrontation, a big confrontation, because Messi was saying that she, does, she doesn't even want to talk because Ella was her friend and then ella went to meet messi's friend to ask for something and that something was money so ella was going around everywhere to ask people money ella even asked venita money ella even asked him opera money Ella was just there asking money so there was one thing i saw on the internet that um ella went to borrow some clothes from one boutique or one fashion shop and then ella doesn't want to pay it so does it mean that that news was true or ella was just trying to hit people uh-huh Ella was just trying to cloud chase. What do you guys think about all these things? You know, she's an artist. She's a vocalist. She's a vocalist. So she's an artist. She's a singer. And she has a good voice. A melodious voice. Just take your time. I think your time will come. And then you'll be okay. Don't envy anybody. Don't think that you are not making it life. Don't think that things are slow. Your waiting period might be long. But someday you'll go. So that's my only advice for Ella. Because it's not really easy when you are in the midst of your colleagues or your fellow women. And they are trying to against you or they're trying to bring you down or trying to make you feel like you are a liar it's really difficult so ella please try to avoid those things it's not really good for you it's not really good for your fans because some people are out there they love you and they're looking upon you so try to be strong try to stand firm to against every challenges that is coming in your life because you can conquer it so don't think that you cannot make it in life don't think that things are not forthcoming don't think that big brother niger didn't give you anything because you left the house earlier and they were in the house they came out they were getting in endorsement and then you are not getting ella hey hey ella you know what being the first dancer doesn't mean that you have win the soul so please just stay there and stay tuned you will make it in life that's my promise for you because you are beautiful and you have a brighter future just try to be optimistic future try to think of brighter future trying to be strong try to know who you are and then you will walk towards it and then you know what you're gonna achieve it so if you are a victim or you are someone like ella who tells lies about their mother's sickness or their brother's sickness or their brother's school fees you better stop it because it's not good because at the end of the day someday people will come out there and then disgrace you or embarrass you so try to avoid that all this video is all about ella but nonetheless we'll still talk about some other things that has happened in the house venita venita people are saying that venita is trying to form accent you know they said Kim Oprah is the queen of accent, but Venita also is trying to form accent. I know Venita was born in the UK, brought up in the UK, but Venita, the way she was speaking, and then now is different. It's another level. It's another level. Who can agree with this? I am saying that Venita, the way you are talking this, these days, 
is crazy. I don't even understand the way she's. Anyway, I'm an African lady, so I have my uh huh, my African accent. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So let us move on. It's left to her. She's slaying. So you know now that Venita has done some surgery. Venita now sees cheeky. She has that boobs. Her structure is on. You know, Venita is so pretty, but Venita sometimes the way she behaves, I don't really understand her. But nonetheless, she have her own mind to do whatever she wanna do. So today, another problem, Jackie. Jackie, what is your problem with coffee? Jackie, are you seeing coffee in your nightmares? Jackie, are you dreaming of coffee? Jackie, leave somebody's daughter. <laughs> Jackie say that coffee is the biggest pretender in that house. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie, how can you just look at somebody's child and say that the person is a pretender? Because she had a conversation with Kathy and then Kathy went out to pretend as if she wasn't there. So that's the only thing why she printed Kathy as a biggest pretender. And you haven't stayed with Kathy for a long time, it was just three months or even less than eight. And you are still painting this girl as a pretender. Jackie, please try not to tarnish your fellow female image don't do that jackie i'm not in for that i know you are beautiful and intelligent you are intellectual but try to avoid these things you are doing it's not good for you and it's not good for your fans as well so kim opera kim opera again you were enabling <laughs> you were enabling the conversation because jackie was really ready to listen to kathy and then at the end of the day kathy came out of the problem and then she left you there so that's what is pain in jackie up till now Kathy, hey Kathy, I know when Kathy come back, Kathy will defend herself. Yes, she's gonna defend herself. And another problem again, they mentioned Kathy's name. Kathy said, <laughs> Messi said, Kathy told me that. Messi is the one who went to Big Brother Niger's diary session and said that you should punish Kathy them their group. And that was where Venita was. And they were also trying to bring a confrontation between Messi and then Venita. But you know that maybe they have settled their problems outside the house. But in the house, there was a little problem between Venita and Messi. Because Venita even never, never expected that Messi would evict her. But now, they are close friends. So their own was not even confrontation. They just talked about it and laughed over it. So their friendship is getting stronger day by day. So that's why Messi couldn't even say much to Venita. But Venita was just pending down because Venita fought with uh, Messi and then Kathy that night. I can remember that fully. A lot of things, it was Ike, it was Ella, it was Fraud, it was Venita, it was Messi. <laughs> Diane was just talking but not really. Diane is trying to act matured. Diane, eh? hmm. that girl has brain sharp. Okay, okay, that girl has brain. That girl has brain. And then Messi also asked Ella when Ella was crying, do you do drugs? Do you do drugs? Messi, that question was so harsh at that moment. Yes, at that crucial moment, Ella was patting, Ella was crying, Ella was feeling like she doesn't even want to talk anymore. You're asking her that question, and then Ella said that she doesn't do drugs. And it, don't do it. And if you are doing it, you better stop it. Don't ever do drugs because it's not good for you. Because right now, the way you are talking, it's like you take drugs. <laughs> hey, woman confrontation. Okay, guys, I think that's the end of the show today. And then I think I have already given out my own analysis and my own reaction. So if you think that you have anything to add on to what I said, or if you think that you have anything to subtract or to add, please don't hesitate to do it. You gotta do it for me. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye. <laughs>